Emeralds. These green beauties have captivated humanity for millennia. Cleopatra was obsessed with them. Ancient emperors traded fortunes for them. And let's be real, even today's hip-hop moguls can't resist rocking a few carats of emerald bling. But what is it about these stones that makes them more expensive than a weekend trip to space? Well, for starters, fine emeralds can easily fetch over $100,000 per carat. That's right, a single carat. To put things in perspective, you could buy a pretty sweet sports car for the price of a decent-sized emerald. So what's the deal with these pricey green pebbles? The answer, my friends, lies deep within the earth, where intense geological forces conspire to create these rare and stunning gems. It's a story of tectonic plates colliding, volcanic eruptions, and enough heat and pressure to make a diamond sweat. But before we dig deeper into the geology of emeralds, let's just say that their rarity is a major factor in their hefty price tag. Finding a fine emerald is about as common as bumping into a unicorn at a St. Patrick's Day parade. It's that rare. Imagine the Earth's crust as a giant pressure cooker. To create an emerald, you need the perfect recipe of intense heat, pressure, and a sprinkle of rare elements. We're talking temperatures hotter than your grandma's oven on Thanksgiving, and pressure that would make a hydraulic press cower in fear. The main ingredient? Beryllium. This rare element, found mostly in the Earth's mantle, is like the flower in our emerald cake. It combines with other elements like chromium, vanadium, and iron to give emeralds their signature green hue. But here's where things get tricky. These elements don't usually hang out together. It takes a unique set of geological circumstances to bring them together in just the right way. We're talking tectonic plates colliding, forcing beryllium-rich rocks to interact with chromium-laden ones. And let's not forget about the volcanic activity. Volcanoes act like giant mixing bowls, bringing molten rock from deep within the Earth's mantle to the surface. This molten rock, or magma, carries with it the precious beryllium and chromium needed for emerald formation. So, the next time you see an emerald, remember that it's a testament to the awesome power of our planet. It's a reminder that even under immense pressure, something beautiful can emerge. Now let's talk about rarity. You see, not all emeralds are created equal. In fact, only a tiny fraction of emeralds mined around the world are considered fine. We're talking about the top 1% here, folks. The creme de la creme. The emeralds that make jewelers weak in the knees. These rare gems possess an intoxicating combination of vivid color, exceptional clarity, and a certain je ne sais quoi that makes them stand out from the crowd. It's like the difference between a $5 cup of coffee and a $500 bottle of aged whiskey. Both might give you a caffeine or alcohol kick, but the experience is worlds apart. So what makes these fine emeralds so special? It all boils down to those geological processes we talked about earlier. The perfect storm of heat, pressure, and rare elements needs to align just right to create a truly exceptional emerald. Think of it like this. Imagine trying to bake a perfect souffle. It's notoriously difficult, right? You need the exact proportions of ingredients, the right oven temperature, and even the humidity in the air can affect the outcome. Now imagine trying to bake that souffle on top of an erupting volcano during an earthquake. That's the level of precision and luck involved in creating a fine emerald. When it comes to emeralds, there's one place on Earth that reigns supreme. Colombia. This South American nation produces a whopping 70% of the world's emeralds. It's like the Champagne region of France but for green gemstones. And within Colombia, there's one region that stands head and shoulders above the rest Muzo. Nestled high in the Andes Mountains, Muzo is home to some of the oldest and most productive emerald mines in the world. For centuries, miners have risked their lives to extract these green treasures from the depths of the earth. What makes Muzo emeralds so special? It all goes back to those unique geological conditions we keep talking about. The Muzo region sits on an ancient fault line, a place where tectonic plates collided millions of years ago, creating the perfect environment for emerald formation. The emeralds from Muzo are known for their intense green color, often described as emerald green, go figure. They also tend to have fewer inclusions than emeralds from other regions, which means they're clearer and more brilliant. Section 5 50 Shades of Green, Deciphering the Emerald Color Spectrum. Let's talk color, baby. When it comes to emeralds, color is everything. It's the primary factor that determines an emerald's value. The more vivid and intense the green, the more valuable the stone. Emerald color is graded on a spectrum from light to dark green. The most prized emeralds are those with a rich, velvety green hue that's both vibrant and deep. Think of it like this. 
Imagine the greenest grass you've ever seen, then crank up the saturation and add a touch of emerald green food coloring. That's the kind of green we're talking about. Of course, there are many shades of green within that spectrum. Some emeralds have a bluish green hue, while others lean more towards a yellowish green. Some are light and bright, while others are dark and mysterious. The specific shade of green is influenced by the amount of chromium and vanadium present during the emerald's formation. Chromium gives emeralds their classic green color, while vanadium can add a bluish or grayish tint. Section 6. Clarity Rules. Because nobody wants a foggy emerald. Now let's talk about clarity. While color might be the king of emerald grading, clarity is the queen. Clarity refers to the absence of inclusions or internal flaws within the gemstone. Think of it like this. Imagine looking through a perfectly clean window you can see everything clearly, right? Now, imagine that same window with a bunch of raindrops on it. The raindrops distort your view, making it harder to see clearly. Inclusions in emeralds are like those raindrops on the window. They can be anything from tiny crystals to fractures to internal cracks. And while some inclusions are barely noticeable, others can significantly affect an emerald's clarity and brilliance. Generally speaking, the fewer inclusions an emerald has, the more valuable it is. That's because inclusions can interfere with the way light travels through the gemstone, making it less brilliant and sparkly. Section 7, Emeralds vs. Diamonds, a gemstone showdown for the ages, emeralds and diamonds. It's the classic gemstone rivalry, like the Lakers and the Celtics, the Jets and the Sharks, Coke and Pepsi. Both are highly prized, both come with hefty price tags, and both have been adorning royalty and celebrities for centuries. But which gemstone reigns supreme? Well, that's a matter of personal preference, of course. But let's break down the key differences between these two gemstone titans. Diamonds are known for their brilliance and sparkle. They're the hardest known natural substance on Earth, which means they're incredibly durable and scratch-resistant. Emeralds, on the other hand, are softer and more prone to chipping and scratching. However, emeralds more than make up for their relative fragility with their unique color. That rich, velvety green hue is simply unmatched in the gemstone world. And while diamonds come in a variety of colors including yellow, pink, and blue, Nothing quite compares to the allure of a fine emerald green. Ultimately, the choice between emeralds and diamonds comes down to personal preference. Do you value brilliance and durability above all else? Then diamonds are your best bet. But if you're looking for a gemstone with unique character, captivating color, and a touch of ancient mystique, then emeralds are the way to go. Section 8. The Allure of Emeralds. Why we can't resist their green magic. So, what is it about emeralds that has captivated humanity for millennia? Why are we so drawn to these green gemstones? Perhaps it's their connection to nature. That vibrant green hue evokes images of lush forests, rolling hills, and the life-giving force of the natural world. In a world that's increasingly dominated by technology and concrete jungles, emeralds offer a welcome reminder of our planet's beauty and power. Or maybe it's their rarity. Fine emeralds are incredibly scarce, making them all the more desirable. Owning an emerald is like owning a piece of Earth's history, a tangible reminder of the immense forces that shaped our planet. Whatever the reason, emeralds continue to fascinate and allure us. They're a symbol of hope, prosperity, and the enduring power of nature. And in a world that often feels chaotic and uncertain, those are qualities we can all appreciate. Section 9. So, you want to buy an emerald? Here's what to keep in mind. So you're thinking about joining the ranks of emerald enthusiasts? Excellent choice. But before you go dropping your life savings on a green gemstone, here are a few things to keep in mind. 1. Color is key. As we've discussed, color is the most important factor in determining an emerald's value. Look for a rich, velvety green hue that's both vibrant and intense. 2. Clarity counts. While some inclusions are to be expected in emeralds, try to find a stone with as few inclusions as possible. Clarity affects an emerald's brilliance and sparkle. 3. Cut it out. The cut of an emerald can greatly affect its brilliance and fire. Look for a well-cut stone that maximizes light reflection. 4. Carat weight matters. Generally larger emeralds are more valuable than smaller ones. However, color and clarity are more important factors than carat weight alone. 5. Certification is crucial. When making a significant emerald purchase, always buy from a reputable dealer and get a certificate from a recognized gemological laboratory. This certificate will verify the emerald's authenticity and quality. Remember, buying an emerald is an investment, 
It's a piece of jewelry that can be passed down through generations. So, do your research, take your time, and choose a stone that speaks to you.